Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? We we'll appreciate you guys clicking on the video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. The way you guys are notified every time I release a new video. In today's video, we're going to talk about a few different ways you can organize your soft plastics. All right, guys, I've been at this a while. So you can imagine being the tackle junkie, I've came up with many different ways to organize my soft plastics from using like cardboard boxes, even like duffel bags, you know, containers you can get at Walmart from smaller ones to bigger ones, plain old boxes, gallon Ziploc bags. I mean, I've tried a bunch of different things. And really to this day, the plain old waterproof boxes are really one of my favorite ways to organize soft plastics. Now I haven't done it like this in a year or so. I've been letting the boxes get low. Once they got low, I knew I wanted to switch to something else just to try something different and give you guys more ideas as well. But again, still one of my favorite ways to organize your soft plastics. I mean, you can have everything nice and organized in there, lay nice and straight, nothing's getting kinked up. You can label your boxes, see everything that you have. I mean, it really is a fantastic way to organize your baits. That being said, if you want a box for each style of bait, it's going to be a lot of boxes. It's going to be a lot of weight. That is something to consider. Definitely not the way to go for a bank angler unless you want a box or two with a variety of different baits. But definitely not the way to go for, you know, a bank guy and having a box per style of bait. I mean, you'd be carrying like 40, 43 book bags. I mean, definitely not the way to go for bank guys. But if you have a boat, a lot of storage, it's a fantastic option, okay? I also used the deeper ones with no dividers and kept the baits in the bags and put them in these boxes, which I do have an older video on how I organize my soft plastics. I was talking about whether you should box them or bag them, uh, do the boxes warp and all that. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. I'm sure you guys are going to have some questions that I do answer in that video. But like I said, still a fantastic way to organize your baits. If that's something that you like to do, have them in boxes. But um, another way that I like to do it are these big containers here. I believe they're like 25 quart containers. You can get them at Walmart and you can just load all your baits up in there. I mean, I did this for years as well. At one time, I used to have like six of these in my tracker, but it was to the point where I was carrying so many baits, so many soft plastics, I didn't have room for anything else. Lots of these containers are kind of big and bulky, so you can imagine having like six of these and having a bunch of plain old boxes on end, just how many you could put in there compared to these boxes. That's kind of why I switched from those to these. But again, I want to try something different. And that's where the KVD speed bags come into play. Now we were talking about these on my live stream on Sunday. If you guys didn't know that, I do a live stream every Sunday, 7 Central Standard Time. And um, really this is a cool option right here. But one thing we were talking about on the live stream is the worm bag count that's labeled on the bag. And it can be very misleading because like this small one here says it'll hold 20 bags. But if your baits are in clamshells, it's more like 10 bags. Okay. The large here says it'll hold 40 worm bags. And again, if they're in clamshells, it's more like 20 bags. It just depends really if they're in a clamshell, the thickness of the bait, how they're packaged, things like that as far as how many you're going to get in these bags. But I'll give you guys a quick look at the bag before we open them up. I mean... I do believe the large here is 15 bucks and the small is right around 10. You guys can get a discount over there at Carl's if you're a member. I'll link that down below. But um, again, full retail price, 15 bucks and right around 10 or so for the small one. Before I give you guys an up close look, let's go ahead and hold them side by side so you can see just how big they are. Okay, large, small. But um, overall, though, for the price, I mean, it's it's a really a seems like a well-made bag. The stitching's pretty nice. I mean, the material itself feels um, pretty solid. It's got a grab handle on there, a couple zippers. I mean, overall, guys, it is really a nice looking bag. Um, I do need to figure out a way to label them, which I'm thinking just like a silver sharpie, something like that. We'll just go ahead and write on the sides, write on the top, and we'll be good to go there. Now, I only have four of them loaded up. You guys know I'm waiting on my new boat, so I didn't want to overdo it and load everything up and then come up with a different way to maybe organize my craws. That's really the only thing I'm thinking about for my craws, keep them in one of these boxes here just because I have so many craws. But for everything else, you know, flukes, Ned Rig stuff, 
tubes, frogs, stuff like that. I'll keep in these bags just because I don't have a ton, but I do use a lot of different craws. So I'm thinking one of these for craws will be great. But again, just, I just need to get the boat here at the house, load some stuff up and see how everything fits before I really load any more up. But I'm sure 90% of my stuff will be in the speed bags here. But like I said, right now we only got four of these loaded up, too small, too large. But yeah, there is the bag there. Keep jaw jacking, not showing you guys the bag. But you'll see here the stitching here on the side, each side there. And that's for these sides to actually fold down. If you guys can see this, let me back up a little bit. You guys can see this here. I'll unzip the bag. And you can grab the corners and actually fold these down, and they stay down, which is pretty cool. Then you can go ahead and sort through your uh, your baits there. Pretty cool little deal there. Just sort through and pick out what you want. But you can see here, like right here we have, this is my double tail grubs. I use these a lot for trailers for a jig, swim jig, standalone. You know, it's one of my go-to baits here, especially the Rage Menace here. And you can see here, again, this bag says it'll hold 40 bags. But with the clamshells, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine clamshells. And we got some uh, double tail grubs here. Okay, Yamamoto hula grubs. Now, I could jam them down in there. Again, I don't want to smash up the tails and all that, so I'm just kind of leaving them here. But definitely, I could shove one more um, bait that's in the clamshell down in there. So I'm going to say 10 on this side. On this side here, we have some different baits over here. A couple more of the Menace. We do have some more Hula Grubs in here. Now, these here, these missile baits, I believe these are the Twin Turbos. Much thinner bags. You can fit more here on this side. And we have one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So in this bag here, we do have 25 packs of plastics. And again, we got the Cowboys here, which are a thicker bait as well. More Hula Grubs, again, which are thicker baits. So it just really depends on the bait itself or if they're in a clamshell, things like that. But, I mean, you could probably put, gosh, you probably put 40 or 50 of these in there just because they're so, they're so thin. And another tip that you could do as well, we were talking about this on the live stream as well, is you know how a lot of the baits, a lot of the bulk is usually at the bottom. So you could flip-flop the bags as well and put more in there, um, you know, put more in the bag that way as well. So it just really depends what you want to do, how you want to organize the bag. But I just really want to let you guys know, if you plan to put 40 bags in here, no matter the style or how they come packed, it's not going to happen if they're in clamshells and things like that, guys. But... Like I said, we got 25 bags in here. You know, we got, um, I believe this is my frog bag. Frog bag here. Let's fold down to one side here. You can see, you know, I don't throw a lot of different frogs. You know, I got my rage toads in here. With, that's my main top water frog that I like to throw. Other than that, we got the lake fork frogs. So we got three of the rage toads in here, three of the lake fork frogs. And I got four packs of the... Ribbits. That's really the, all I use as far as frogs go with a soft plastic frog. The uh, the rage tail and the leg fork are my good, you know, my go-to like Texas rig type frog. And the smaller rivets here I use as a trailer on a buzz bait. That's pretty much all I use for those. And then I do have, I believe, a and we got a little Z-Man poppy chat in there. But other than that, guys, that's really all the frogs that I use. So they all fit in there perfect. But like I said, ten bags is about all you can fit in here. You could fit a few more maybe of the rivets. But that's about it. But if you wanted to, to, to put a bunch upside down in here, again, you could do that as well. So, again, it really depends how you want to organize. I don't want to put too many upside down. They really can't see what you got in there. But for the most part, guys, you can see just really how you can organize with these bags. And so far, I mean, I haven't had them out on the water, obviously. But just playing around with them here in the tackle room, I'm loving it. And uh, like I said, 90% of my baits will probably be in these bags here. I even have another 8 or 10 over there on the shelf ready to be loaded up as soon as my boat gets here and I figure out just what I want to do. But again, I'm definitely digging the bags, guys. Check them out. Again, I'll have them linked down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. We will see you guys on the next one.